nice to see you again. I welcome you. I welcome you all and I say thank you very much for everything for your love. I say thank you and I welcome you into this topic. It's this great topic that I want to share with you. I want to tell you something. What will make you to be spiritual, to know God? What will make you to be spiritual? What will help you to be a true child of God? What will help you to be spiritual, to be, to be a spiritual person? See, let me tell you something. The religion, the religion can't make you to be a spiritual person. Religion, religion is the laws of doors and don'ts. Religion means doors and don'ts. Religion is all lie. Lie. Lies upon lies is all about religion. Telling you to pay tithes, that tithes will send you to heaven, is a lie. It cannot send you to heaven. It can make you to be spiritual. It can make Paying your paying tithe can't make you to know God or to be spiritual. No. So you see, it cannot send you to heaven, can't make you to be spiritual. No. It cannot. Going to church every Sunday, being the first that open the church, the, the, the building and sit down before other people you know, come in, is not what will make you to be spiritual. That you are a friend of pastor, your pastor comes to your house and bless your house and pray for your house, and the, it's always you're always hanging out, hanging around with a pastor can't make you to be spiritual. It can't make you to be spiritual. Using your car to be driving a pastor or a man of God anywhere you want to go cannot make you to be spiritual. Taking your money. To buy suit for a pastor to cook the highest dish for a pastor, or going to a pastor house to clean his house and the cars cannot make you can't make you to be spiritual. No. No. Going to evangelism, carrying Bible and standing with megaphone preaching. Disturbing the, the people around you for them to know that you are always going to, to preach or to evangelize can't make you to be spiritual. It cannot make you to be spiritual. No. It cannot make you. What will make you to be spiritual is the truth you know, you will hear. The truth you will hear and accept the truth in the inside. The chain that is holding you bound is broken. And you, you move from the level you are to another level. When you will hear the truth about your life, about what you are doing, that is not in conformity, in conformity you know, that's not in line or in alignment with the word of God. Somebody who look at your eyeball and tell you the truth the way you are, and you, the person have done his own part. The next, the next step is: Are you accepting the truth? If you accept the truth that you know that this person said the truth. The way it is to me, you accept it. You will simply do yourself a favor by accepting it. And the moment you accept it, a chain is broken in your life and you move to the next level in the realm of the spirit. The moment you keep hearing, hearing the truth, the moment you are in the place that, that, that you're hearing the truth, that they are speaking the truth of God's word. They are telling you the truth, not lying because they want to take money from you, they want to make money from you, or because they, because you, you are we are buying suit for a pastor and the pastor is lying to you, or you are cleaning his house, or you are sowing seed, and he is not ready to tell you the truth because he don't want you to, to, to get hurt. So he keeps lying to you. That pastor or that man of God wants you to remain as you know in bondage and remains a baby, never to grow never to be matured. 
never to be my spiritual because when you grow up in the word of God and you are matured, you become too spiritual. But you keep on believing lie, believing lie, wearing the most expensive clothes, going to church and the let people know that you go to church every time you're in the, in the church, every time you're in the church, every time you're the pastor, and you are not hearing the truth. Talkless of accepting truth, you will never grow and you will never become mature. You will never be, you will never be a spiritual being. You will never be a spiritual because a true born again child of God, supposed to be spiritual. To know when he or she is in the right place of worship, when he is with the true man of God, when he is with the true children of God, you are supposed to grow mature to identify good and the evil. You are supposed to be mature to identify the true church where God's spirit is moving. When you are seeking for truth, when somebody is telling the truth and you are receiving it, your eyes of understanding, your inner eyes is been uh, open, opening more and more. It's been enlightened. The inner eyes is been open. Then you can be able to see. Then this is the time that you are spiritual to see and to know what is hidden. The knowledge of the Holy One come upon you. The wisdom of the Holy One come upon you when you are with somebody who is telling you the truth. And you are accepting the truth. You are busy accepting that truth. This is the only thing that can make you to be a spiritual being, a spiritual person. That is why so many of you in Nigeria is never, never grow. Every year you are still crawling. Every year you are still crawling. You are busy drinking milk. Keep drinking milk. Keep drinking milk. You will never eat a solid food. Talk of chewing bone. It shows no growth. Your pastor keep blinding you. He doesn't. He or she doesn't want you to grow. That's why they are lying to you. But you are supposed to know what you are searching for. Did you want to remain a, 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 like a baby that was born and is, is crawling? One year is still crawling, two years is still crawling, three years is still crawling, which means that child is, has become a cripple. You have become a cripple. So many cripple Christians, so many cripple Christians, so many babes, babes Christians, never to grow, remain the same. Instead of going forward, backward, backward. You are expecting them to, to rise and, and take a step and walk. They still go backward. You will stand them, they fall down again. Never to grow. No strength, no stamina, no a, a, a power because you are not taking the real word of God. That's why you remain a babe, a baby in Christ, a baby in the Lord. Never, never to grow. You're supposed to grow. You have to, 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 to tell yourself, I must grow. I need to grow. Why I am going to church is because I want to be spiritual. I want to know God more. I want to know God. Bible says that those that must worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. Understand? God is a spirit, and the truth I am telling you is spirit. The word that I send to you, they are spirit and they are life. It is the spirit. That gives life. The fresh, those things are doing ritual, religious, rituals, and the, and the acts and doors and doors. They are, they are all physical things. They are all fresh, fresh things. Going to church for them to, to for everybody for people to see you evangelizing and fully, fully past the man of God. They are all fresh things. The Bible says the fresh profited not. The word that I sent to you, they are spirit and they are life. And they are and they are life. So this is what I want you to understand. God is a spirit. And 
they that must worship must worship in truth and in spirit. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. So if you understand this, you, you will begin to set yourself free from the bondage of lies that you have soaked yourself into all these years. You, you think you are doing yourself. You remain there, you are doing yourself. You are kidding yourself. You are killing yourself. You are simply blindfolding yourself. You are simply caging yourself. You are simply brainwashing yourself. If you did not walk away and grow and, 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 and become a, a full grown, grown, grown up person, grown person in, in Christ, you are fooling yourself. You are the one fooling yourself. Are you growing where you are worshiping? Are you going with the people you are? You always, are you always gathered together and assembled together? Are you going? How is your spiritual life? It's my question. I ask you, how far? How is your spirituality? How is your spiritual life? Ask yourself this question. You that is jumping and hunting for a man of God, you know, going to his house, 24 hours you are with him, you are this and that. Ask yourself, am I going? Ask yourself, you that is paying sowing seed, paying tithe, giving offering, being cleaning the house of God, washing pastor's cloth and on this, you wash his pants. Even when you have a wife, you tell oh daddy, daddy, forget about that. You don't bring everything. But you never wash your husband on this. You never even wash his cloth. But you can wash your pastors on this. Or in the name to show that, oh, I so much are you loving God? Or are you loving your pastor? I'm a man of God. I'm a pastor too. But there are some things I, I don't allow. Here in Europe, it's not the way it is there. There's so many things going wrong there. There are some things I don't, I don't tolerate. There are some things. Some of you, we say, oh, he's, he's, just, talking, he's just talking here, here on, you know, on, you know, on YouTube. Don't worry. You, you just relax. You, nations, I, I will tell the whole nations of the, of the whole world. I will, I will, I will tell and, 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 and tear, and by the special grace of the Almighty, the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness will hear, they will, they will cry, and they will not see water. Watch and see. Our God is all powerful. He is a great God. Real. Okay. God be with all of you. You must grow. You must grow. You need that growth. Stop being a baby Christian. Those things can't help you. Can't make it to be spiritual. Okay? Let's call it a day. Bye-bye.